Looking at the fashion trends of 2023, what am I going to take into my February capsule wardrobe that I may already have in the house? I think the obvious thing is going to be colour. And I'm hearing that yellows and reds are very popular and greens. But what I'm seeing is not those colours in reality. What I'm seeing is pink. So a way of actually seeing what the reality is regarding trends, not really what videos are saying and not what the runway said, is what's in the shops? What are people wearing on your high street? What are you seeing the TV presenters wearing? It's pink for me. That, that's what I've been seeing, the reality. So I've recently bought a new pink sweater that is going to go into my February capsule wardrobe. But we're also seeing stripes and I have got the my sweater that I absolutely adore that I bought from Cos that's still available and a lot of you've been buying it and it's still available so do please go if you want this oversized sweater and it, it's something that appeals to you looks great with leggings can, looks great with skinny jeans you can belt it as well because it's it's quite as I said it's oversized very popular with all of the you know the fashionistas were, were promoting this a while which is why I bought myself this sweater and I've got a variety of ivory jumpers. No, one with a zip, you've seen this before. One um, from Amazon, you've seen this before. I'm pulling out the same things. I'll show you ca winter capsule after winter capsule. Another colour I'm hearing is popular is purple. And last year I bought this purple jumper because I was going grey, I thought purple was going to suit me. It was also purple or periwinkle was in my old capsule. And this colour does appear in my new one. We'll give it a go and see how it works. Mustard's controversial. I've got a thick a mustard cardigan that I previously loved. A lot of you said it, it looks great on me. Some of you say it doesn't. With my colour hair, I shouldn't wear mustard. As the days are getting longer and it's more daylight, I'm going to have more of a way of judging whether it is. Um, it's chunky. It's going to be great for February, layering over the top of things. I layered it over black in January and I didn't like it at all. It didn't really work for me. And I think it might have been, it might have been because of the black underneath. Was it right? So I'm going to try again and then I'll, after that I'll, I'll decide whether it then becomes something I sell on Vinted. I do have grey jumpers that I want to wear as well, just to keep me cosy and warm. As for going out, it's going to be, I'm not really um, of a mind that it's going to be warm enough to wear blouses yet for out, you know, for a curry or something. So I want to hop on to the metallics trend. This sweater with some metallic in it. You have seen it before. I've worn it quite a bit. It's also, it was in my um, Christmas Outfits Ideas uh, video and I've worn it. It's been outfit. It's been in, um, you know, what I wore videos as well. I've had that quite a few years from Mint Velvet. And last spring, I bought myself this metallic sweater from Sugar Hill Brighton. So what I'm thinking is something like this, which is quite a thin knit, would do for, say, a curry with some jeans or a pub. It's taking advantage of the the metallic trend because this is actually a metallic thread in there. Not following a trend at all, another jumper I could wear out would be this one. So this, this says to me, it says pub lunch, um, pub drink at lunchtime, cinema, that kind of thing really. That's what it says. Coffee, coffee with friends, that's what it says to me. Later on I'm going to show you my wardrobe but for the moment I'm going to show you something else that's in my bedroom and that is my pillow and at this point I'm going to thank Sleep and Glow for sponsoring this video. I have been using one of their pillows for the last 15 months. I've been using the Omnia pillow. Mine came with a tinsel pillowcase, but it also has a silk pillowcases available that are shaped to fit the pillow because the pillow is designed to help us minimize those sleep wrinkles we get. And I did used to wake up, my face changed during the day because I woke up with lines and wrinkles and puffiness from sleep which since I've been using this pillow I haven't really noticed. I've got lines and wrinkles obviously but they're my permanent ones um, but I've not noticed a waking up of, of something that then improves during during the day since using this. The reason is that the pillow is actually shaped with hollows. You can see the hollows there. So what happens is that your face cradles or nestles into this cradle. This is a cradle and you the side of your face nestles in there. There's a little shelf here that the side of your face rests on and then your cheeks here hang above the, the dip. So you haven't got a flat pillow. And there's one on the other side as well. So it's, you know, you can roll over and you have the same effect. You're not limited to sleeping on one, one side. For example, here is a, a standard pillow and you can see my face is compressed. 
Whereas here, you can see that there's, a, there's, there's space around my face against the pillow that yeah, I'm not compressed. If you're a back sleeper, it's actually got a hollow in the middle to accommodate back sleepers as well. So you're not sleeping on a flat pillow, you're sleeping on one that is shaped for our bodies. And it's also got a dip so your neck is not lying on something that is just squashes down like a traditional pillow or is straight. So Sleep and Glow are offering you $10 off of a pillow using my code and 10% off of their silk collection. So now as promised, a little peek at my wardrobe and later on I'm going to show you how I organise my trousers in my wardrobe. I put what I'm wearing for the, for the month down below here. Um, so this is my collection of jumpers and then we've got the jackets I'm pulling through. So this, I know this is what my clothes for February are going to be. Also knitwear is a sweater dress. I'm having difficulty finding you sweater dresses actually, but if I can find any still in the shops, I will link them down below. But I think the thing is that because they were winter stock, they're not really being replenished in the, in the shops. This is one I had from uh, Land's End actually several, several years ago. Quite a nice thick one, a February in the UK. It's getting lighter. It actually gets colder. Um, so this thick, thick knitted dress I will wear in February. I put away the brown one that I was wearing in January and I can wear this with leggings and with long boots, ankle boots. Cardigans, I've got a selection following that follow that sort of modern line. The this mushroom one from the drop on Amazon with pockets and it's sort of waist length or well, hip length, uh, chunky, keep me warm. I've also got one from Zara. I bought it on Vinted last year and it's still got a label in it, look, new, new label. So that was, that was a good buy. But look, that's really, really thick, really thick. So that is gonna be so cozy. It's that modern shape again. It's, it's got the V-neck buttons down and it's sort of that hip length as well. But if we get a cold day or cold days in February, this will be fantastic. It's got a little collar too. I don't know, obviously, whether that's something like that's gonna be, an no, upright collar is what I mean there, you know? I don't know if something like that's going to still be available if it is as normal. Open show more. Really long cardigan that I have said to you before that if you can get a long beige thick cardigan this is super all year round because you can wear it in the spring and autumn without a jacket and just as, as, as your coat basically as your, as your outside layering item. Wear it in the summer and a cold evening because it's the right sort of colour and in the winter you wear it under a coat. I think these these are going to be good for, for layering as well. These sweater uh, gilets, not sweater vests, you know, the, the vests, the gilets are popular at the moment. As for jackets, in January I wore this one and I think that's going to be great for February as well. So that is going to come down and go into my February collection. I did wear this an awful lot. I had a lot of love for this burgundy one. I don't think I'll wear it in February because I wore it so much in January, except I do have an idea. I do have an idea. I'm putting this aside and tell you about it in a minute. But what moto jacket shall I wear in February? I have a collection. I have a collection. I think... This one possibly, in browns, sort of a chestnut colour. I'll put that down. This leather one in a cream colour. But I'll wear this in the summer as well. Possibly, possibly, that should be available. I'm hearing shackets are still very current. So I have got my leather look one from, I don't know, I think I got it from Amazon actually. Um, yeah, in brown. That's a, a great neutral that will go with quite a bit of my, in my wardrobe. So that is going to be going in my February available collection. But you can see that how I organise my wardrobe space. I've actually got what I'm going to concentrate on wearing, I put down the bottom, and then I have available all my other jackets if I need them. I've also found this sweater. It's a colour block, you know, as you can see, colour block. Bought it a couple of years ago from Marks and Spencer's. Right time of year for it, really cozy and comfortable to wear. So that is navy, grey and uh, ivory. Another sweater I'm going to keep available for going out for a meal would be this one that I wore at Christmas time, wore it in December. Um, it's got some sparkle in it so it pulls on the metallic trend and it's the right kind of winter colour being burgundy. Will that go with my burgundy moto? Not, not really. Uh, I don't know, on camera it doesn't look, looks like it won't. In real life actually it does, uh, which is a bit odd but still I'll keep that available I make up my mind when I wear it what jacket I wear with it it might be the ivory jacket it might be green it might be burgundy now a trend is leather and pleather faux leather this year so that's where I'm pulling out the, my jackets my moto jackets and so on I've got this leather skirt or a pleather skirt that I bought in maroon that I bought um, in January I wore it in January it was in an outfit video it, where it goes absolutely brilliantly with this 
jacket, although they're not the same set, not the same brand. Perfect match. So that's what I was thinking about keeping this aside for February so as I can wear it with this skirt again. Uh, blouses, I thought actually this one I'm wearing at the moment I might keep out as one that I could wear out for an, e for an evening if I was going to go somewhere warm. I've had this ages, ages and ages and ages so I'm not going to go into the details of where I bought it but I've just found new love for it which goes to show if you haven't worn something for a year ignore those rules about throwing something out. I don't, I don't just leave it a year and then throw it out. No, no, the number of times I've come back to re-love something that I wore five years earlier. Anyway, that aside, polka dot is going to be on trend and I've got, I've only got one polka dot item and that's this blouse, which actually I, is really a housework blouse because, you know, I've lost my love for it. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get that back because it's not so much my colour. It's also um, got a different you know, as I said, that looks a little bit cheap in the previous video, a different colour inside. Although it's not around the collar, so it's not that noticeable. It's just a utility shirt. It's uh, nothing special. Who is it by? Dash, I think, or some... Uh, pass passport? Passport. Yeah, just nothing really special, but polka dots. So I may, I may wear it, so I'm going to keep that one out. Right, getting a few other blouses that I may need in February to go out if I, if I don't want to wear a jumper. Um, and what do I come across? Another polka dot one. So I wasn't telling the truth. Actually, I'd forgotten about this. Is this. These dots are a bit big. I don't know if they're really cool polka dot. But anyway, that top from Balkan. I've also got a leopard print. I might wear. Although I think leopard print's more autumn than spring. But I might wear it. And I've got a lovely saint blouse with some uh, sp sort of sparkle metallic on it. There you can see. So those are going to stay in the mobile wardrobe available for me to wear if I'm going to go oh, somewhere that I think is going to the restaurants that I think it's going to be warm. The problem is, I say that as if I'm going to go to restaurants, but in January I didn't. I did not go to a restaurant. I went to a couple of pubs a few times. People just haven't got the money, have they? And we haven't got the money. You know, we're, people just aren't going out and doing that kind of thing anymore. So, um, yeah, another year where restaurant-itis uh, strikes. Okay, sweater vests are still around, so long sweater vest. I have found um, in the States and Canada, I found you one similar to this at Nordstrom, which at the time of recording is still available. And I will hunt for another one in the UK for you guys. But that will look good with leggings, it look good with jeans, it look good with a shirt underneath or with a jumper underneath. Um, I did talk about that in my January, cap January capsule. So I'll link my January capsule at the end because then you can see how I was suggesting we can wear our sweater vest. I'm going, going to a party. Uh, I'm trying to make up my mind what to wear. So I'm keeping some evening things out. Long pleated velvet skirt, sequin top, blue pleated skirt, orange velour skirt, a sort of sheer blouse. Now sheer, sheer is very current at the moment. And I think you can see that's sheer because you can see me through there. That's, that's sheer sleeve. I was thinking I didn't have any sheer, but I, had, I do. So this, this, if you've got any sh blouses that are sheer on the sleeves, yeah, pull them out because that is going to be very on trend this, this year. And obviously I don't want sheer on my body, through my body, throughout my body. So sheer arms, perfect. Trousers, it's gonna be jeans, dark wash jeans, light wash jeans. Um, I'm hearing all sorts of strange things about jeans and trousers. I've been hearing that slim are back and skinny are back. And on the other hand, I've been hearing that baggy is the thing. So as long as you're not going for mum and really baggy balloon type jeans, I think it's a case of anything is going to go because the, that kind of spectrum of loose to uh, skinny kind of covers, covers everything else, doesn't it? My feeling is that it's going to be a case of see what other people in your area are wearing and then which way the trend is going because at the moment I'm not entirely sure which way the population is going to swing. Because it's all very well, you know, videos saying that the trend's going to be this and the, the run rate way saying the trend's that and the shop saying the trend's that. We don't know until people actually adopt one or two trends to actually see what's going to become dominant. Can I'm I just remind you that if you're enjoying this to do this, please give me a thumbs up. Also comment down below. I'm also going to wear black jeans. I'm going to wear joggers. I've got joggers on at the moment. I don't know if you noticed that when I was showing you my wardrobe. Um, yeah, joggers because they're comfortable. I just wear them in the house. Um, I did in February work and in January wear them out once and that was an appropriate for what I was, what I was doing um, but generally no they're not for me for out. I know that some, some are saying you know we can wear joggers with a smart coat over the top and as long as it's sort of monochrome look 
and then a coat over the top. A smart coat is stylish. I'm not sure that's something that I'm going to be... I think that's more for someone younger than me. I'm at 60, I don't feel really comfortable with that. Now, if the whole high street was wearing it, if everyone, the population was adopting that look, I would have no problem with it whatsoever. So for me, joggers are yeah, comfortable in the house. I love these, these are Amazon. I'll link them down below. Really, really warm and snug and I said very, very comfortable. Um, some trousers, my Rebel trousers that I, I showed in a previous video. I would keep them out to wear out. They are really comfortable stretch and they're decent. They're decent. They're nice to wear out. You know, you're not going to have someone saying, oh, look, she's wearing elastic trousers, not like a pair of joggers. The, the elastic here just, just doesn't show. Incredibly comfortable. And what I tend to do for my organ wardrobe organisation, the trousers that I'm going to wear, I put in here so I can just pull this out and have a look and pull out. So I'll put those in there. During, obviously during the month and during the week, I'm actually wearing trousers and wearing clothes. So clothes that I wear, I put one end of my, my hanging rail and trousers that I have worn, so I've taken that out here, this is all nice and washed and clean, here where I'm putting trousers that I have worn once or twice. So I know that after I've worn them three, you know, worn them again and again, that they're ready for the wash. They're not clean, you know? So that's what I do. So these two are, are trousers for the month, clean ones, clean, and we'll get another wear out of them. Um, because I don't have much wardrobe space in Britain, we just don't. We don't have these walk-in closets generally. And if you enjoyed this video, you could well enjoy this one. Oh, here.